While the New York Hamster House is an adoption center for hamsters and other small animals, residents like Howard and Dean are too old or too sick to ever find a permanent home. Hi, Mush. Proprietor Jessica Hi, Wells tries to ensure that they get all of the care and attention they need. As her reputation grew, people began dropping off animals for her to care for. Yes, you are. Look at those feet. Yeah, I've had about 400 and I've adopted out about 300. The other hundred either got sick and died or are like the terminal ones like Howard and Dean, which I know I'm never going to adopt out. But yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Snoopy is, she looks young, but she's actually old and she has a little bit of a tumor on her tummy. So um, I wouldn't adopt her out to anyone because she will definitely need much medical attention. But she's, I mean, like, look at her. She turns into a little rug, and you just pet her. She's, like, flat. Rachel Stein is moving to Portland, Oregon, and feared her elderly mouse and gerbil would not be able to handle the journey. Couldn't, there's no way for me to get them to where I'm going. And, um, and you don't want to just give them away because, you know, you don't know what people are going to do. Parting with her pets was very emotional, Stein said. It does not help that most people do not understand having mice and gerbils as pets. They're actually really smart. They can learn tricks. They can learn their names. Um, they each have their own individual personalities. After Stein said her goodbyes, Wells mused about the mission of the hamster house. You know, if, if they're both sort of at the end of their lives, why not just let them live it out here and enjoy and not have the stress of an airplane and all that kind of stuff.